Stage control and positioning. You've probably heard of them and know that they're important, but what are they really, and why are they important? I'm G5 Cosmos for Game 5 Smash, and in this video I'm going to help you understand key positioning in Smash Ultimate. The most literal definition of stage control is that you are closer to the center of the stage than your opponent. The reason being in the center of the stage is so important and useful is because it gives you access to the best defensive option in the game, running back. When you have stage control, you have space on the stage to move backward. Moving backward to avoid your opponent's approach is arguably the safest defensive option in the game because dashing back is such a non-committal option that you can act out of so freely. The only thing you really do give up by dashing back is stage control itself, so you can look at stage control as a currency that you spend to avoid your opponent's onslaught. Because of this, it's important to make sure you only move back as little as possible so you don't let your opponent force you into the corner for free. Looking at the benefits of stage control from the opposite perspective, when you don't have stage control, the ledge is close behind you, so running back will put you off stage, and your other defensive options such as jump and roll in become much more obvious and easy to cover for the opponent with stage control. This is often referred to as corner pressure. Now let's look at stage control when you're juggling your opponent or they're off stage. The same rule remains. You want to always be closer to center stage than your opponent. If you're juggling, you want to stay diagonally beneath your opponent such that you are closer to center stage. You can picture a wall above your character that you don't let your opponent pass through if you aren't in the center, so they can't cross you up and land with stage control. A very common mistake that players make is that they'll overextend positionally, trying to hit the opponent off the stage by going out too far, and the opponent will either jump, air dodge, or recover over or around them, taking back stage control. Unless you're extremely confident in the play you're making, you should prioritize maintaining stage control over going after your opponent in advantage state. When you're edgeguarding off stage, stage control rules still apply. If your opponent is below ledge height, you want to be diagonally above your opponent such that you are once again closer to center stage both horizontally and vertically. This will ensure that if your edgeguard is unsuccessful, you can still return to stage first and keep control with your opponent trapped in the corner. With the nearly limitless number of possible situations in Smash, there are certainly times when it might be optimal to not be closer to center stage. But in order to completely understand and identify situations like that, you first need to fully implement these stage control concepts into your game. If you'd like to go deeper with personalized coaching, you can contact me on Twitter for one of my personalized coaching options shown here. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to Game 5 Smash for more tech and tips.